Right over here we got Mikey taking pictures for the website. Here's a little sneak on the newest drop. We've got Eliminate Tie-Dye Tees. Mikey, you wanna grab the other tee and show them? The giveaway for the S2000 is just about to end and we have to throw these on the website. This is the Galaxy Tie-Dye and this one, we call this the Tsunami Tie-Dye. Emmy, you like it? And the Emmy tie-dye. And the Emmy tie-dye. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. But today, we are working on the 32. Let me catch you guys up on the last vlog. The last vlog, we had to end with some bad news. But as you guys know, we took this car to Oregon and it hasn't been running since. There were a few issues. First, it was coil packs and then injectors. And it's a whole bunch of things. I don't know if it's RB issues or not, but with the new fuel pump, we sucked up metal from the nasty fuel tank and therefore it messed up the injectors and we were running on four cylinders. Moving forward from that, we fixed all of those issues. We diagnosed everything. We got new injectors in and turns out we believe that once we broke the trans, the trans locked up and we broke the crankshaft. <sighs> I think once I go Jay-Z, I'm probably gonna fall in love with it. Everybody says the Jay-Z is super reliable. And you know what, I guess it really depends, but I still love my Arby's regardless. But what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna be taking the RB25 out and we're gonna inspect the motor. I guess while everything is out, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna repaint the engine bay, make it look clean, and let's see what the issue is. Jay-Z's are better. That's what everybody's saying, dude. No, that's going in here. Jay-Z's are better for that. Let's just put this in there. This one? Uh, Hell no! Nah. nah, this is going in the GTR. But uh, Luke, what are we working on right now? Yes, sir. I guess uh, let's get started. Let's pull the RB25 out and see what actually happened. We're assuming, well, they're pretty sure that the crankshaft broke, but I'm just praying. Please, I hope it's not broken. Huh? There's nothing else it can be. There's nothing else it can be, huh? I'm still praying though because God's a day one subscriber. It's not a broken crankshaft. It's, ah, there's nothing else it can be. We've got the boys over here hard at work, taking care of all orders. Thank you guys so much for being patient. It feels so good to be back and vlogging. I've been gone the entire week on vacation and I'm back from Hawaii and I miss vlogging. I miss working and I cannot stand not doing anything. Tires are coming in for the TEs. Still haven't decided what to throw those on, but the 34 should be ready in a couple of days, guys. Just hold on just a little bit longer. Go down, turn on post notifications to get ready for that video. The color is crazy. I got to choose the name. I got to choose the color. I got to choose literally everything for the car, and I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. I've gotten some sneak peeks already, and I literally cannot sleep. I'm that excited. And just like that, the motor is out. This guy works fast. All right, guys, let's cut it. What motor should we toss in here? This one's done. It's probably gonna be out of commission for a little while. Or should we just throw this back? Nah, it'll be the easiest to throw this motor back in. All right, guys, me and Randy are trying a new thing for this vlog. We're gonna do where I vlog a little bit and he vlogs on his own while he's with Thomas and I'm with Luke right now. We're on our way over to Harbor Freight right now to go grab an engine stand for the RB, and we'll see you guys there. So we found what we need. We need to get a two-ton 
cherry picker and we're going to be grabbing a 2,000 pound ending stand. They're checking in the back to see if they got it for us and hopefully they do. Got what we needed, grabbed a few extra things for the shop to help improve and make it cleaner and we'll see you guys back at the shop. Luke's already getting started on working on putting the engine stand together and the cherry picker. So while Luke was taking apart the bottom of the oil pan and everything, he was inspecting the crankshaft and he thinks he might have found our problem. What do you think it is, Luke? There's a groove all the way around the outside of the crank over here that looks like it could have split. It's really hard to tell for sure, but I'm gonna keep looking and see if I find anything else. What is up guys? It is a new day. Welcome to mine and Henry's room. I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I want to give you guys a little tour. We can't forget, this is also Emmy's room. Emmy sleeps in here. And I've actually spent the entire week redoing this entire room. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, but we had nowhere to walk. My bed was right here. Henry's bed was right here. I swear to God, these are clean clothes. But if you guys look around the room, there's literally nowhere we can fold the clothes yet. There's still so many things that we can do to upgrade this room, but alongside modifying cars, there are other things that you can do, like your room, for example, your garage, literally anything. And I just want to show you guys a little bit of everything not just car related but i want you guys to see a little part of my life as well here is my new gaming setup shout out luke for the help on building the computer yes that fan is not working but we'll get that working soon but what do you guys think i want to start streaming i want to do so many things 
and I've always wanted to build my own PC. But ever since starting YouTube and making videos every single day, I just never had the time. Before skateboarding, before cars, before YouTube, I actually had to give up playing video games because if you guys didn't know, I had to take care of Henry when I turned 18. I had a full-time job, school full-time, and I started Eliminate and I just had no time. So I had to give up school to pursue my dreams and of course my love for video games. I spent every single minute on the keyboard and it's been about 10 years. I'm probably super rusty. The video games have evolved so much and I've always wanted to have my own little area. What do you guys think? This is my most valuable possession. This is the 100,000 subscriber plaque and the moment we hit 100K. My life has changed so much. And a subscriber drew this for me. My girlfriend made this one. And of course, Adam LZ sent me this one and I thought it looked great here. And who doesn't love an S15 on Blitz 03s? Let me take you guys over to Henry's side. Henry's kind of almost got the same setup. I based my side off of his, but we improved it just a little bit. Right here we got Emmy's bed where she hangs out and Emmy sleeps all night over there. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve this area, let me know down in the comments below and if you guys think it looks great, help us out. Give this video a thumbs up. We've got enough walk room under here for activities and check this out. I got this from Ikea and I can literally change the brightness of that bulb, turn it off completely, or we can go through and change the color of the bulb. How cool is that? With the new bed frames, we were able to squeeze so much more in and we only got these for 200 bucks each at Ikea. So if you guys wanna make more room in your rooms, I highly recommend it. However, there is one downside though. Let me take you guys up to my bed and you guys are gonna find out instantly. Look, there's no room for activities up here. And I have hit my head a few times waking up, but now that I've gotten used to it, it's not too bad. And I get to see Henry over there. Come over here. Come on, come here, man. Good girl. Dude, I am so hyped on this setup. I actually spent the entire week setting this all up, spending all day cleaning up, throwing away bed frames and everything. But guys, I think I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch or on YouTube. What do you guys think? What would you prefer? Let me know. I wanna hang out with you guys, talk to you on a more personal level, give you guys YouTube advice, life advice, business advice, and of course, play video games when I'm not at work. YouTube has been kind of draining for me and I know other YouTubers, if you're watching this right now, you probably feel the same way. COVID didn't help and just filming within the four walls of the warehouse has become so, I guess you can say repetitive, but I'm always striving to make better content, but it's so hard. But COVID looks like it's starting to die down. So guys, stay tuned. This week, we got a lot of cool stuff happening. 34 should be done soon too. And to anybody watching my videos, thank you guys so much for still watching. It's so crazy to see how far we've come all this time. From hitting 100K subs, to moving into dream neighborhoods and getting kicked out because of racist neighbors. I don't think I've ever told you guys, but we moved into this neighborhood and the rich families there, they just absolutely did not want us in the neighborhood. So we actually got kicked out of there. Long story short. Let's just keep it at that. But just through ups and downs and having you guys supporting us and being able to do all of this is so amazing. And I'm really trying my best to make content so much better. So I've kind of decided I wanna do every other day vlogs. It doesn't matter if it's about cars or not. I wanna show you guys a little bit more of my life. I'm incredibly busy. What you guys see on the vlogs are all the good things that I wanna show you. I kinda wanna take you guys around with me a little bit more, show you guys things 
that aren't just car related. I want to take you guys out, show you guys what to get when you're here in San Jose, hang out with the homies because we don't do that much no more. Everybody's trying to make their own content and I'm trying to bring it back to the old days. I hope you guys are excited. Stay tuned. If you guys want to support me on Twitch or on YouTube stream, subscribe. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And what do you guys think about today's video? Luke is working on RB stuff. I am doing everyday, regular, you know, normal guy stuff. And, you know, it feels good. I don't think you guys know this, but I don't even take my weekends off. I'm literally working on Eliminate every single day. And I don't even feel like I'm pushing out that many vlogs sometimes. So, one thing that you guys should know is I absolutely would not upload a vlog unless it's fun and entertaining for me to watch. But, let's see where this thing goes. Let me know what you guys think about the channel so far down in the comments below. Do you guys love it do you guys hate it what can we improve let me know i wouldn't be here today without you guys and i'm sorry if this conversation is a little bit longer but i want to interact with you guys a little bit more and your feedback is what's going to help me progress and push this channel to what i want it to be and i guess kind of what you guys want it to be ultimately this channel is what makes me happy and what makes me happy at the end of the day too is just a whole bunch of you guys watching this and enjoying it as well. So that's pretty much all I have to say here. I do have to get back to the warehouse. Let's go check up on Luke and the RB25. We are back at the shop guys and we have some good news and some bad news. Luke has been working on the motor the entire few days. Anything you wanna tell the subscribers? Yeah, we had two broken transmissions the whole time. It's fucking fire. And the crankshaft is good! But the chances of two transmissions having the same issue. Yeah, and the other one should have been good because we were given it with an engine that was supposed to be good, so. Yep, I've actually had this trans for a few, probably a few years now, huh? Yeah, and we thought it was good. We swapped the transmissions over and it did the same exact thing, which led us to believing that the crankshaft was broken because the chances of a transmission having the same exact issue yeah, were very, very unlikely. unlikely. Usually it's not gonna make noise in, in neutral like that. And on top of that, um, I'm fucking frustrated. <laughs> Just took apart the engine for no fucking reason. <laughs> but one good thing is the motor's good which is what I'm hyped about. You wanna show them what happened on the trim? Yeah, there's a whole fucking side of the gear missing right there. Right in here, let me get you guys up close. And when you turn the transmission in neutral by hand, you don't hear the noise either. So once it has load on it, it must be bouncing or something and then it fucking, yeah. These transmissions are known to be really shitty, but like, I didn't, <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> don't worry, today's gonna end. I feel great. I thought my RB25 was done and we'd have to do more machine work and you guys know how it goes with machine work It takes a very long time and RBs right now have skyrocketed So everything's expensive for it. I think all engines from Japan have like just gone up in stocks But the RBs 1Js the most I'd like to say an RB26 stock right now are going for like 10K plus. RB25s I heard are going for like seven, or maybe those are the Neos, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'd have to say that today, uh, we gotta win, guys. You rewind like two years, these engines, 1Js, anything like that was like 1500 bucks, easy. I got all of this for 2.5? With the trans, ECU, literally, huh? Oh yeah, broken transit. I got ripped off, bro. <laughs> nah. Tires for the TEs are here. I was looking forward to putting this on the 32. I think they're gonna look absolutely amazing. But guys, I am happy. Luke is having a long day. <laughs> but once he feels better, at least I think Dude, all we need is a trans. We'll get a good trans, don't worry. Because the possibility of you actually breaking a crankshaft when your transmission breaks is kind of high. That's why it, it made a lot of sense too. Because when you second gear clutch kick at like five or 6,000 RPM and your engine's trying to spin and the whole thing stops, 
be a really good way to break the trance. When I broke the trance, I kept, I gave it a few more clutch kick thinking that, you know, something else happened. <laughs> so I honestly thought the crankshaft broke too, but I'm so happy. That's good news. I told you it wasn't the crankshaft. I manifested it. We were talking about that yesterday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Emmy, we're back to vlogging. Are you happy? I am. Feels good to be back, guys. Stay tuned. More videos are on the way. A few more videos until the 34 is revealed. I'm so excited. Even though you had a bad day, my day just got good. Good job, Justin. Hopefully this video turns out amazing. That is a wrap for today's video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. We are giving away this beautiful S2000 plus $5,000 cash. Every dollar spent on our website is an automatic double entries. If you spend $10, that will give you 20 entries. But hold up, we want to make this giveaway even more special. Along with the S2K and the $5,000 cash, we will fly you and your best friend to come and hang out with the Eliminate Gang for the weekend. We're gonna take you and your best friend on a $3,000 shopping spree. You can buy whatever you want. This could be you. Head over to the Eliminate shop and order now.